morning. My name is Natalie. Welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday morning, 8, 8.30 a.m. We're starting off bright and early. I don't really know what this day is going to be, but I think we're going to figure it out together. I feel kind of tired but I feel like I need to be outside today, even though it's kind of disgusting. The weather has been so weird. Yesterday was like 80 degrees. It's April. I like feel the existential dread of climate change, but then also I'm like 80 degrees, I'm not complaining. It actually was like a little bit too hot yesterday. At like five o'clock, I logged off for my work day and I was like, man, it would be nice to go on a walk. And I was like, I should go on a walk. So I went on a walk. <laughs> That's how I feel today. I'm like, it is 70 degrees out. Granted, it's supposed to be like balmy and rainy, but I'm gonna go try and be outside for some of it. I have decided to take a solo date today, mainly because tomorrow is my 30th birthday and I just need to carve out some alone introspective time. And I figured going to like explore in the city would be a perfect way to do that. I can just like be on my own, zone out, like think about what I wanna think about, reflect on the past 10 years of my life. It's gonna be great. I'm thinking about heading to the Upper East Side. I really wanna go see Central Park because the cherry blossoms are supposedly in bloom as we speak and it would be tragic if I didn't see them. But it is supposed to rain, so I'd probably just bring an umbrella. There's also the Met is nearby. I really want to go to Levain Bakery because I haven't been. Those are like the three things I want to do today if I can swing it. We'll see. I'm not super committed. We're just, again, we're gonna figure it out as it comes. Thanks for being here. Okay, it's time. I'm feeling super wishy-washy, super unmotivated to do what I said I was gonna do, but I'm gonna go out into the world because I said I was going to and it will be good for me and sometimes you just like have to push yourself a little bit when you know it will actually serve you well. So I might not stick to the idea of a solo day and text my best friend, oh, church bells. But we'll see, I don't know. Again, don't know what this is. We're just gonna find it as it comes. Okay, let's, let's do this. Tori on the vlog. Honestly, the cutest home. Cutest dog. Whoa. We ran into each other on the street. Best case scenario. <laughs> I'm slightly uncomfortable because Tori is in the other room and she never judges me, but this is my first time vlogging with somebody here. <laughs> Provide mental and emotional support. See, Lola's, Lola and Tori are providing me with emotional and mental support. Okay, so I'm talking so loud. I can't. Don't feel weird. I feel so it's weird. As as you want. <laughs> okay, you're right. I have to be natural. Thank you for the support. You're welcome. Okay, so here's the scoop. This is actually never what I say on the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> the scoop. 
Okay, quick little update. Made it to the Upper East Side. Ran into my best friend, Tori, who you've seen now in the footage before, just on the street. Just literally getting off of the six train. Had my earbuds in, had my sunglasses on. She was on a call. And somehow, we locked eyes. <laughs> <laughs> she's in the other room and yeah this is what's wild about new york city is like you will just run into your best friend on the side of the road we didn't make plans to see each other we have like each other on find my location but neither of us had looked and still managed to just like run into each other so great news for both of us i was kind of in a bad mood this morning i feel like you can tell <laughs> from me trying to like gear myself up to go out for the day and i just feel so much better <laughs> so sometimes i think that's the upside of like just doing it you know stepping out into the world because look clearly we we're meant to hang out today so very exciting uh we did central park walked around got coffee got levain also tori is an angel and told them it's my birthday tomorrow and they gave us free cookies slash loaves Okay, now we're gonna rest, eat a pizza, hydrate, and then go on over to the Met. Isn't that right, Lola? She said yes. Okay, that's the update. We're ready for the Met. Here we go, with <laughs> all the tourists. Good place to be. just like need to rest for a good hour and do absolutely nothing to feel like a normal human this is what we call balance this is what we call when an introvert needs alone time so I'm gonna go do that <laughs> I'll see you in a bit and there's now a guy on the roof across the way I don't know what's happening uh it's been a long day. I'm really tired. <laughs> Sorry, this man on the roof is distracting. Just because I keep seeing movement out of the corner of my eye. And there's not usually people on the roof. So I don't know what's happening. Always on a call. <laughs> Important businessman. I just feel weird vlogging when people can see me. But I'm going to get over it. Um, okay, I rested for a bit. I just needed like a few minutes to feel like a normal human because I'm pretty tired. It ended up being such a good day and truly running into my best friend on the streets of Manhattan. I, it, New York is so crazy sometimes. Like I just like what are the odds? And like I was not in the mood to go out this morning or honestly vlog. I just felt tired. And kind of drained and so I was like okay I committed to doing this I'm just gonna do it and like it'll be fine but I was putting pressure on myself to like have a solo day and I think it's important to be able to like spend time by yourself but I also spent a lot of time alone so I don't know why I put so much pressure on myself to be alone today I'm just trying to give myself space to feel things because tomorrow's my birthday and honestly April is kind of like 
a weird month emotionally for me because a lot of stuff happened last year and I just wanted to give myself time and space to be alone and process it but I don't actually think I needed it and literally running into my best friend I was like thank god and I just was in such a better mood immediately so I really do think it was a sign now he's like crawling on the roof say what you will about like signs coincidences manifestation whatever happened today was meant to be I will say this I have run into like a surprising amount of people that I know just out and about and it makes me think that this is like a thing like not for everybody but maybe for me maybe I'm like a specific magnet for this this has happened multiple times not with her but with other people I don't know something weird about it, it makes me feel suspicious great day on the Upper East Side I think this is just honestly gonna be a day vlog I'm pretty tired I'm gonna make some dinner upload this footage maybe watch a movie I have plans tomorrow for my birthday I'm not gonna vlog because I want to hold a few things sacred for me and want to be present in the moment but I'm really glad that I got out and about today sometimes it's easy to get like stuck in your own neighborhood in New York or like stuck in the mindset of I live here so I don't need to go out and do like touristy things but the Met is so beautiful also if you're a resident it's like pay what you want so you don't have to pay a lot if you don't want to so if you're on a very tight budget it's actually an affordable activity to do <laughs> And then Central Park is free and like it's it's a trek for me to get to the Upper East Side but then once I'm there there's so much and I think it's important to remind yourself like oh there are things to see and do outside of your neighborhood and it was a good reminder today to get outside go do something challenge myself push myself because then look at what the reward was having the day with my best friend Thanks for coming with me on my journey to the Upper East Side. Let me know if there's any other places you'd love to see. I'm trying to push myself to do more like little day adventures and solo adventures are something I want to be doing more of. So even though it didn't happen today, it doesn't mean it won't be happening in the future. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this thing up. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in a video very soon.